today's video is going to be our bathroom reveal. It's quite a grey room and I really wanted to make it more homely so I added a little bit of green and some creams. Everything you see in this video I will try and link below as well as letting you know where everything is from as always. The house was a complete renovation. The original bathroom that was in the house was downstairs. What used to be here was a whole kitchen. Here are some before and after photos to give you an idea. A wall was added to split one big room into two rooms, which is now Pollyanna's nursery and the shower room. In planning and designing the bathroom, we knew we wanted tiles that matched the floor and the walls. So when it comes to looking for the right tiles, we had to make sure that they were suitable for both. The back of the house is quite dark until midday so we decided it would be a good idea to have a different textured tile on the back wall just to mix things up a little bit so it didn't look too plain. All of the tiles were online from Tile Mountain. We did order a few extra boxes because they are a natural tile. Sometimes we would find that a few would be very different in design than others. We went for a very long towel radiator from Graham's Plumbing. I've gone for beige towels from Yves de Laurent to make this room feel more comfy and living dim. Along with a hanging plant from Wayfair in the window, I feel like this is another feature that makes this room feel less cold. I chose a mode spa twin shower from Victoria Plum. You'll notice that in this room everything is very cube and square and that was our thought process when we were picking this shower. Over in this corner of the shower room we're sticking very much to the cube thing. The waterfall tap, the hung sink and the shower screen all from Victorian plumbing. The bath mat is from TK Maxx but it is the only thing that I would change in this room. I'd really like to find one that matches the towels but it's really thick and soft. The mirror was from a local company called Cliftonville Glass. It had originally been designed to go from ceiling to sink. However, when it arrived, it wouldn't fit up the stairs. We added tiles along the top so that the mirror could fit up the stairs. I used this simple basket from Wayfair that came as a pack of three as toilet roll holders. We chose a sink that looked very modern but also had the right amount of storage for us. I'm quite particular when it comes to not having things out on show. I really don't like it. But I've organized two baskets in this cupboard, one that you just simply drag out every time you go into the shower and one that we use as everyday products. Finishing off with what sits on top of the sink and all we have is a soap dispenser and a toothbrush holder from Nex. If I had my way I wouldn't even want our toothbrushes out on show. So that's all, everything from the bathroom will be listed in the description box below and I'll also be doing a very detailed blog post all about the renovations so keep an eye on that too. Thanks for watching.